Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing amazing. As I was browsing the Microsoft Learn site today, looking at a specific certification, I saw something new. That Microsoft started offering three sample practice questions for selected Microsoft exams. This can be really useful as the final step as you prepare for the exam, so you get an idea of what kind of questions am I going to get? If I take a look at the sample questions, am I going to get all of them right, all of them wrong? Do I still need to study or I'm ready to pass the exam? So if you're getting ready for a Microsoft certification and you want to learn more on how to get free practice questions for some exams, make sure you stick around because that's what we're going to cover right after the intro. Okay, so the exam that I was looking at when I figured this out was the SC900. So we're going to take a look at this one first. And after that, we're going to cover some of the other exams that have this feature. So let's make sure that we see everything right on the, I'm on the SC900 exam page. And what got added, if we scroll down a little bit, we have this tip green box over here that says download free sample questions to help prepare for this exam. This really got added today on January 27th. Once we click on it and I will zoom in to make sure that everybody can see it. Let me see if I can take this away here. Perfect. We can see at the top here, this first paragraph that says Microsoft is exploring the possibility of providing sample questions as an exam preparation resource, and we would like your feedback. So after that, they say, we prefer that you complete the survey after taking the exam, but you may complete it really anytime. So from this, and again, there is no official Microsoft Learn announcement for this feature. So what I really gather as this kind of first look today is that this is a pilot program with only a few exams to see if the community finds this useful. We then have a user guide here that says those sample questions are intended to provide an overview of the style, wording, and difficulty of questions that you are likely to experience on this exam. Those questions are not the same as you will see on the exam nor is this document illustrative of the length of the exam or its complexity. This kind of really goes against what they said uh, before because it should be around the same difficulty, but anyway. Those questions are examples only to provide insight into what to expect on the exam and to determine if additional preparation is required. In the first section, you will find questions without answers so that you can test your knowledge. And in the second section, the answer, the rationale or explanation, as well as a URL that will link you to additional information. If we take a look now at the contents, let me scroll down. We see that we have, let's take a look, keep scrolling down, 20 different questions for the SC900 exam. And something that I find really cool is that for each one of them, they actually say, okay, this will be a multiple choice. This will be a matching. We also have sentence completion. So it's not all multiple choice. They really give you different type of questions. This way you can have a more realistic exam experience in your preparation. So let's take a look, what do they look like? We'll take a look at the first question first. Let's take a look at this first question. The zero trust model operates on the principle of trust no one, verify everything. You need to implement the zero trust model in your organization. Which two options are the guiding principles of a zero trust model? A, verify explicitly. B assume breach, C, role-based access, and D, 
perimeter security. So I'll give you a few seconds. If you listen to my plural side course, you should already know the answer. But the idea is that you can even print this actual document, which is kind of cool, do it. And at the end, you should be able to take a look at the answers and then see where you're right. What would your score have been? So this is a multiple choice. We then have the matching where you have the type of attack. And then on the right side, you have this blank space. You would enter A, B, C, or D for each one. Another matching one. Let's take a look at one that was complete the sentence. So here we have one of them where you need to implement, enter the service name, and after that, again, pick one of the choices that would go in there. If we take a look at the second section that actually gives you the answers as well, let me scroll down. There we go, questions and answers. Question one, we have the question again, and then we see answer is A and B, of course. We have the objective, which tells you, okay, which objective of the exam does this align to? Maybe at the end, once you compare your answers, you will realize, okay, this is what I need to refocus on. And after that, you have the explanation or the rationale. Why is this the correct answer? As well as a link to where you can go to restudy this information. So again, this is really, really awesome. And something that is even cooler, if we look at more advanced exams, such as the AZ-104, which is an associate level exam. Again, not a fundamentals like the SC-900. This is an associate. We take a look again, we have the tip, download free sample questions to help prepare for this exam. What you will see is that for the associate level exams, we also have case studies. So let me go to page eight. It was, I have a full case study. And this is something that you will very probably find on the exam as well. You have the full page of the case study overview. So we have the overview, the existing environment. We have the Azure storage environment, the problem statement requirements. As you can see, it's really like three pages of case study of what environment you'll be working on. And then you have different questions based on that case study. For those of you that have never taken an associate level exam before, this is what you will actually have on the exam. You'll have case studies where you have a multiple page case study and then you'll have specific questions for that case study. And it's really, really popular. I've had it, I think, in almost every associate exam I did. So this is definitely an interesting way for you to prepare and to get used on how case studies are actually organized in Microsoft exams. I will go back to the top a bit and I wanted to share something. If you decide to use them and if you're preparing for an exam, I really see no reason why you should not be using those sample questions, but I really highly recommend you go to this link, aka.ms sample questions. You will find it at the top of each sample question document click on it, it brings you to a Microsoft Forms form. Then you can answer, did you use the sample questions? Yes. And at the same time, I wanted to show you the list of exams that actually have those sample questions. So we have the AI 900, AZ 104 and AZ 900, DP 900, MB 910, MB 920, MS 900, PL900 and SC900. So really most of the fundamentals level exams and only one associate level, which is the AZ104. After that, depending on what you choose, you'll get a question, how satisfied are you? Let's say very satisfied and more questions, again, depending on your choices. If you use if you use those sample questions to prepare for an exam, please share your feedback with Microsoft. Personally, I think it's a really amazing idea. However, I'm not preparing for any of those exams today, but if you are, 
please answer Microsoft. Tell them what you think. Tell them if you think it's a good idea or not, and they will make a decision based on the information provided here, how successful the program is, and if they should invest in this further. I just wanted to add, before we finish this, I wanted to add that this is the really second initiative that Microsoft has released this year to make it easier for people to get used to Microsoft exams. On January 10th, so about two weeks ago, Microsoft actually did an exam sandbox. And by the way, I'll add the link to this in the description of the video below. But if you've never done a Microsoft certification before and you want to get used to the actual interface, you can go to the aka.ms exam demo, and this will put you in the exact interface that you will have when you take a Microsoft exam. From the NDA that you need to click yes in order to continue, you then go to the exam title, I will click on next, I'll click on next again, let's start the exam, and now you will see multiple type of questions, you see? This is a question type known as multiple choice. So you got to select one. I'll just click the bell here. It doesn't matter. I'll click on next. Then I have a multiple choice one. So I'll click on apple and banana. I'm not reading the questions. I just want to show you how the interface works. So you really have all the different types of Microsoft question types and it's in the actual interface. This is exactly what it will look like if you go past a Microsoft exam. So it will take some of that stress away because you will already know the interface. You will already have practiced a few sample questions from what Microsoft gave you so you understand the wording. So the hope is you arrive at the exam, you will have a lot less stress and you will be able to really focus on passing the exam. And you, you will not be stressed by other factors. This is it for this quick video in which we have really looked at the new sample questions provided by Microsoft. I really hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, please like the video and please subscribe to the channel so you actually get notified when I release more content around Microsoft certifications as well as Microsoft 365, Teams, Power Platform, and more. Please let me know in the comments, what do you think about Microsoft providing free sample questions to allow people to get ready for the exam? Do you think it's a good idea? Are you simply not caring because you're not going to use them? Please let me know in the comments and thank you very much for watching this video.